So, is this a conversation about how it's time for me to pack up and go home? No, don't have to go home. It's a big country. Just maybe don't be here. Are you familiar with the phrase manifest destiny? Yeah, but see, here's the thing. I own two pairs of shoes, a summer pair and one for winter. We're not meant to have more than we can handle. That's what I mean. So this need for conquest, you know, trying to own things that aren't meant to be owned. Like people? That's an example. But also places. Believing we can tame things. That's a problem, right? Not a solution. You're saying capitalism is a problem? No. Greed. Making this thing all or nothing. What happened to you? Hmm? What happened? What happened? Let's just get this over with, huh? So you got a response to my all or nothing line? Sometimes. There's a man. What what man? Just a man. Works in a factory. One day the boss gets it in his mind that this man is stealing from him. So every night at the gate, the guards search his wheelbarrow. But they never find anything. Pat him down. Oh, they do that. Strip him naked. Nothing. So he's not stealing? Of course he is. Wheelbarrows. Thank you. That's right. He's stealing wheelbarrows. What? My point is, sometimes the answer is so obvious, you can't see it. Because you're looking too hard. See, we can't leave because we're the future. And they're the past. The past can no more become the future than the future can become the past. Okay. We said our piece. Just don't be offended next time if I don't say hello before I shoot. <laughs>